All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to a relatively similar but revamped plan on the YouTube channel. And I mean, the Twitch channel is ever constant. Eight, nine years on Twitch. The grind is consistent. The hours are consistent. YouTube, we're switching things up a little bit. Um, Welcome back to a 6 p.m. video. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically taking what we tested this year of doing a 6 p.m. video and then an edited 8 a.m. RTG video, and we're just going all in on it. For the month of December, I just want to see how things go in terms of the numbers. So what we're going to do is you guys are going to get a standalone 6 p.m. video. We get to see what type of content there is on the daily basis, and then the first owner RTG grind will be a video that we put out a little bit later on. Whether we do 8 a.m., um uploads whether we do maybe we do 8 a.m uploads actually I, I i don't know or or we just upload it as quickly as possible i'm not uh, i'm not entirely sure i'll figure that the timing out for the edited epis but we're going to be doing 6 p.m standalones and then the first owner rtg and then the one-off like opening 25 icon pack videos because you guys seem to love those damn things and with icon swaps coming there's going to be a lot of those packs to potentially open so um in terms of 6 p.m. content, doesn't look like there's any gameplay content just yet. Maybe something in Milestones from EA? I mean, there still is no icon swaps. I was kind of concerned today was going to be a little bit dead for content. Um, because, well, it's EA, right? And they don't really know how to run a promo properly. So nothing in terms of Milestones. Maybe there's a sneak peek. Um... So Dries Mertens was yesterday, Keen Vieira, Roberto Carlos. Uh, these are all my leagues that I grind on a daily basis. The double upgrade was yesterday. So we got, oh, 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 I kind of like, so is that the content for today? A Merseyside Derby. So 80 rated squad, same league, max five, players from one club, max three, Liverpool and Everton players. So this is very easy to do. What I would do is you you, you slide in your Liverpool and Everton player, and then I would do like Liga Nos for five. They got a good amount of high rated players. You can do it for super cheap and you're not using up your league SBC players, right? And then you fill it in however the heck you want, right? There's no, there's no big deal there, but make sure you get that 80 rating. 85 chems should be pretty easy to do. Um, okay, so we'll definitely do that. The 84 plus player pick, we might as well do now, depending on the actual cost of it. 82 rated and a team of the week. Interesting. Okay. Well, that should not be a problem in terms of the team of the week. Do we have an 82 inform from this week? We do have a uh, Konza, and I've got a Konza on the trade pile too. So you know what? I actually am going to use him. I mean, he's discard as it is, so it's not uh, not a big concern. And then we'll jump down to the 82s and see what we can use. Definitely him from the off league for sure. Um, I'm going to throw these guys in there as well. Uh, the Prem is mostly what I want to stay away from because I do the Prem League SBC so much that the 82 rated Prem players are actually pretty, uh, pretty important. Um... Okay, I'm going to put Trap in there in case we need extra Chem. Lind in there. Uh, we can use this guy as well. Rarity, why not? Gomez, why not? Neto, why not? And perfect. Okay, let's see what we can get out of this. So, don't want to use the Prem player as I mentioned. I mean, 60 chem is a bit of an L though, right? Um, maybe if I do this, 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 um, I know I said I didn't want to use a Prem player, but do we use it for the link? I don't know if that's even going to help much. Okay, not much going to be help there. So why don't we go with Trap in goal. Good. And that. And that doesn't actually help us out. Wow. Oh, I got it. Easy. Look at that. SBC Brainchild 2018. So I don't know if this is even worth doing. I'm a D-Gen gambler, just like I'm sure all of you FUT fans are out there. So let's see if it was even worth 
the degenerate gamble one of 284 plus players are you guys ready for 284s because i know i am all right well it's not 284s trading in an inform and a bunch of players for an 87 trent not the end of the world uh sure that's fine we got that done and is that it for content on the day surely not right is that their tuesday content for the day bro i want to leave you guys with this thought or this question i suppose is this not the most disappointing promo they've done in recent memory to finish things off at least that way we have something to uh to hopefully be excited about we'll open a few packs yes this is digging into our project team of the year stash but that's fine i mean these 25k packs i'm okay to open we'll open um five or till we get a big player Wh whichever comes first essentially um because i think with this 6 p.m epis i still want to give you guys something to be excited about prem players i'm keeping uh all of these guys sell the the non-rares go for a minimum of 800 ish maybe more the rares don't sell don't know why that is but it is what it is so first 25k pack absolutely nothing crazy in there um the adm first owner rtg epi should be pretty sick though we already have great content for you guys great playoff run uh we packed a butt versus ice player one of the ones i wanted to so very very nice league sbc grind going very very well on that too i mean this is technically part of the league sbc grind too we'll throw that up there that up there i'll just sell those kind of on my own time no big deal i don't want to bore everybody to death here Okay, so that's two 25Ks, nothing out of it. But again, you could open a thousand 25Ks and get nothing out of it. It's just about giving yourself a chance. The only way you have a chance is if you open these damn packs. Damn, my God. Three straight though and no board is kind of wild. I think the pack odds are like, you're good. You're good. You don't need anything better. Nice that they're all tradable too. So that was three, right? We got two more to open to end off today's 6 p.m. epi. I'm going to bring up the chat too. Did I miss anything, boys? Before we end this amazing, amazing 6 p.m. epi with amazing content. I think as well, just as a sneak peek, Fonzie, it's not, I don't think this is a spoiler. It, it's going around some Bundesliga, um, actual Bundesliga pages. I think we're getting a player of the month, Fonzie, boys. 87, 88 rated. So, um that is something exciting at least in my opinion i desperately need him for those of you guys that are paying attention to the first owner rtg you'll know i've got a team right now with fonzie in it with a couple of god players as well we got keen in there and zidane in there and mixing between player of the month venetius and that uh fire pulisic so fonzie's in that squad and i would desperately love to get a player of the month fonzie i was so disappointed that i didn't get his rule breaker anyways love you guys hopefully these 6 p.m epis get better and better as ea releases better damn content for us um uh if there are featured packs and stuff to open they'll be on the first owner rtg but on these 6 p.m epis i will always end with four five or six relatively good packs from the grind and like i said it does put a dent a little bit in project team of the year but the end of the day it's okay it's not uh it's not that big of a deal so we'll catch you beauties on the flip side can we finish on a semi-decent pull here even just a a walkout of sorts you're gone we end on a board we'll catch you guys on the flip side for the first owner rtg edited epi in a few hours peace